Hey yo everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. I'm a Nick and on the last episode took on Brawly, got another badge, went to the coastal cave over there, uh, Duford Tunnel, f God I'm forgetting the name already. It's been too long since the last time I actually recorded this. Anyway, also in there we got a new party member in Aron who I decided to level up to the rest of my team, so yeah. And with this, we can now actually go on to Slateport City. So, uh, let's a talk to Briny. Ahoy for you, for I'll go out to see any time. Now, where are we going? We're going to Slateport? Slateport, is it? Anchors away! Pico, we're setting sail, my darling! I don't know why I'm having so much fun with that. Now, sadly, this trip is shorter, so you don't get to hear the music as long, which is kind of saddening, but oh well. I can't fight these trainers right now. I'm too low a level and I don't have a certain move. Ahoy! We made land in Slateport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. <coughs> Ugh. Still dealing with a cough if you uh, watched uh, our last episode of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I'm still dealing with that, though, to a much lesser degree. And uh, you'll be seeing some... Uh, water types here hopefully none of them packing moves so let's talk to well get into a fight with a sailor and he's laying anchor in ports but he thinks slate port is the best we'll see about that anyway he he's got a fight type i got a bug i'm gonna cut you i'm gonna cut you dude and uh yeah um trying just trying to think of like back to when i was like originally playing this game like there's only one part of this beach that's particularly memorable at all, so... Otherwise, it's like, you're fighting sailors and kids in inner tubes. It's... there's not really that much here. Though, this girl will just give you a soft sand. That'll... that works like the... Miracle Seeds and, uh... Silk Scarf, except it's for ground-type moves. And I do not want to send out an Inkata against uh, this boy right here. Because of one and one reason alone. Which I'll get into when he actually sends out a Zigzagoon. So, this Zigzagoon knows the move Surf. The majority of my Pokemon are weak to that move right now. So, I'm not having any of this shit. We are sending him packing. Because I don't want to eat surfs to the face. Because Ninkata and Aron would likely be two hit KO'd. And this girl also have a uh, surf Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon learns a lot of HM moves. So, uh. And we don't get a uh, fucking surf till much later. At least three badges later. Just. If you've kind of played the game already, you kind of know this shit, but oh well. And yes, this is before Azuril became part fairy, so... Oh wait, you're not the girl who has a uh, Surf Zigzagoon. Because there's a boy and a girl who has it, I, if I'm remembering correctly. If I'm not, then I'm an idiot. Um, Is there another girl anywhere? No. Wow. I'm crazy. It was just that kid who had Surf Zigzagoon. Anyway, back to Ninkata roughing people up. This guy's drunk off Soto Pop. Well, he's burping and whatnot, and it's just like, dude, did you secretly trade out your Soto Pop for rum? Also, no to this matchup. Just fuck this shit. Just because Ninkata does not hit hard enough. While Aron, on the other hand, can actually throw out a headbutt, and yeah, being part rock kind of sucks. Being part rock kind of sucks. But please, headbutt, do enough. God damn it. Oh well, beautiful, I'll do the job. Okay, this Wingle is out to annoy the piss out of me. Can we please get out? Thank you. 
thank you very much. I like not being annoyed by uh, confusion and whatnot, so please piss off. Another one. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Thank you for not hitting yourself. Seriously. Not hitting yourself is a very, very good thing. Also, snapping out of confusion is an even better thing. So please, just... Please get out. <coughs> Alright, my chops. I'm gonna uh, gust you all away because... Uh, since Beautifly is already here, I'm just gonna do this. Gust away! <coughs> I don't know why, I've always found this uh, sailor kind of funny. Just cause herp burp, I'm drunk. It's either you're drunk or you're seasick, in which you're bad at your job. Yep, he's just seasick as a dog. And it's just like, dude, you suck. And then I want to talk to this girl here. Yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat or not, chill at my papa's spot. The 90s was a few years ago, kid. Take it, take my word for it. And, uh, okay, Ninkata's already in the front spot. And I'm the owner of the Seashore House, but you can call me Mr. C. And he just wants to see battles. And defeating the trainers here is worth your time because... Not only do you get experience, this is actually where you can buy soda pops, which are better super potions right now, and they're cheaper, and seriously, fuck this matchup. I don't want to deal with water gun all day, every day. It's getting kind of tiring. Piss off. Anyway, soda pop. They're better super potions because they restore 60 instead of 50. And they only cost you 300 a pop. Yeah, they nerfed these later in the series, so, uh, have fun with that. Also, I really should have sent Nakata out against the Machop, but I'm not paying that much. Well, actually, I set it to set instead of shift, so... Eating my words on that one. However, I'll send it out against Tentacool. Tentacool's a bitch. Cause it only has poison sting. Fat lot of good, that's gonna do ya, you jellyfish. I can even two hit KO ya. How's that? Thank you for not poisoning me though. That's all nice and good. Get that experience and beautiful I already hit level 17. Oh boy! We deleting Harden for that. Because, uh, Stun Spore causes paralysis. Which is very useful. He accepted the loss, and... I wanna run in here! Bitches! And she doesn't wanna be bored of the battle. So, uh... I mean, what do you got? You're the first beauty we actually fight? It's... Goldeen. I need to cut this shit to the ground. And you're making yourself even more resistant to fire moves. Christ. <coughs> oh yeah, forgot Peck is a thing. Forgot Peck is a thing. But at least I'm physically durable? Question mark? I may have to swap you. Oh wait, that was your last Pokemon. Guess that works for me. Well, I gotta go uh, punch a kid in the face. That's no good. That's no good at all. It's just a zoo roll. I'm not gonna get very much experience for this. I wonder how much damage bubble will even do. You don't have stab. You're pathetically weak. I should really be using leech life. In all seriousness. So, leads life it is. I'd like to get another hit point or two back. That'd be nice. <laughs> A hit point. 
Yup, 84 experience is pitiful as shit. But if you think I'm staying in on that, you are sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. Defense curl, don't care. Don't care. Oh, this is a three hit KO. That's disappointing. At least you don't have rollout because that would fucking suck for me. Because, you know, four times weakness and all that. Yeah, that's a three hit KO. You can barely see it. Bitch. Bitch. You tripped up into a storm. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. And now we can claim our six soda pops for free. Hooray. <coughs> Blazing it. Sorry, <laughs> just taking crappy jokes when I see them. As you can see, the 300 a bottle, but I'm not. I'm just gonna stick with my freebies. I can finally run, thank God. And this is just set piece and does nothing. It has no practical use. Here's a marketplace where you can buy random shit. So, uh, this is the first time you can actually acquire dolls. For now, these can only be used in your room, which is like no point at all. This girl checks if you've maxed out your uh, effort values or EVs, which you get by fighting Pokemon. And this guy sells vitamins, which give 10 EVs to a stat, but you can only use 10 of any assortment of vitamins. And talk to this guy later. He'll sell you shit. For now though, this line is conspicuous, but we'll see it in just a moment. Okay, you saw that cut because I went to go heal, and here's a place I wanna go. This is the Pokemon Club, and I wanna see you uh, talk to this woman. And it's like, Pokemon are sensitive to feelings and whatnot, and why don't you love me enough? All right, I'll send out Combuskin. He probably has enough friendship value at this point to claim the item that she will give me. See, she'll do that. And it's just like, she'll give you the Soothe Bell, which will increase just how friendly your uh, Pokemon will be towards you. I don't have any Pokemon that use friendship at all right now, so I'm just gonna keep it in my bag. This Mart sells some new shit, which I actually need to go in and buy one particular thing. And this is a thing called Harbor Mail. I want to buy one of this. This will uh, come in handy in the next town. Don't you worry. And there's one last place I wanna go to before dealing with, uh, you know, this. And it's not here. This is the name Raider. So if you're watching this and you wanna give me any nicknames for any of the Pokemon besides Beautifly, leave like a comment or post in my Twitter or something. That'd be really nice actually. I'd like some kind of little interactions. And this is the contest hall. I want to talk to this lady first. And, uh... You can't get a contest pass right now, so, uh... We can only... Do, we'll do this later, and, uh... This woman will say, like, if you win a contest, you can look at the portrait of the winner. And honestly, these are nice outlines. I like these. I might take that for later, and, uh... We can't do anything about this for now. Actually, this girl will give you a Pokeblock case. And I'll actually show this off here in just a moment because I wanna go downstairs and get a little something from this dude over here. Hey man, I'm like majorly cheesed, you know? Like, you know, I just wanted to know why my Pokemon never won, you know? Like, hey, so like, I gave my judge my two cents, you know, the free. And he wouldn't hear me out, like, hey! So like, total bummer, man. Hey, like you, zip it, you know? Just, you know, take this. That's like TM41, you know? Hey, it's Torment, you hear me? Like, it won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? 
Hey now, you listen here, like, I'm not laying a torment on you. That was oddly fun to say, and I don't know how I didn't fuck that up. Okay, Pokeblocks. So, uh, let me, uh, show you how to do this. We're gonna say no so we can explain it. So, it's quite simple. So the arrow will just go around automatically, and it's just a game of timing. So, uh, let's, uh, do this. And you pick a berry from your bag. This is what, uh, the pinup berry is for. It is, this and other berries are solely for this. So we're gonna use a pinup berry, and they're gonna toss other kinds of crappy berries in there. Two, one, go. And the more players you have, the better this'll be. And the better your timing, the better quality Pokeblock you get. And ah, missed. And the screen starts to shake when there's a... Uh... Oh god, this is awful. Terrible, bad. You want to get those perfects, which is literally like you're lining it up. Yep, he did better than me, but oh well. You can, uh, even do this, you can even link it up with another player and whatnot to make more blocks. Maybe I'll show that off when I actually cover, like, multiplayer stuff. It's like a bonus video or something. <coughs> As you can see, all these guys are blocking the way. The long line. I want to talk to some of these guys. This is a line, can't you see? This is like, what do you want to do with this? Don't butt in. And there's one guy I want to see. A long line, huh? It reminds me of the times I lined up to buy Smash Hit games. You know, like that time I lined up one time back in 2008 when Super Smash Bros. Brawl was just about to come out. That was amazing. That was an incredible time. Ah, uh, memories. It's... Okay, that's actually kind of funny because uh, it'll come up in a moment, but we actually need to go here and talk to this guy. Uh, this goes here and that goes over there. And where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Ah, I can't make heads or tails of this. Huh? Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a fairy. Oh, that there. Are they Devon Goods? But, hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He's, uh, oh, excuse me. He said he had some work to do. Can I get you to go find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Talking to him automatically makes the line disappear for whatever fucking reason. And just making sure my team is correct. And let's go. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 bucks. Would you like to enter? No! Well, actually, yes, I do. Now, if you don't have $50, they assume you're with them, which is fucking hilarious. Now, I need to talk to this dude. Ke? What are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua th member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. This is the TM for Thief. This may or may not be useful later. Ah, darn it, you screwed up her plans. I was going to rip off something to make up for it, but... Just you wait, you'll get yours one day! And then we never see him again. Yup. Also, conveniently, uh... The music playing in here is actually a remix of the, uh... SSN theme from, uh, Generation 1, so, uh... That's convenient. Or cool, you know, that sort of thing. And this is the Captain Stern we need to talk to. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, that must be the part I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great, we can prepare for our expedition now. Grunt attack! They're gonna take those parts. Who are these people? They are Team Aqua, again. So, uh, let's have fun. As usual, if you're playing Ruby, you fight Magma, but because this is Sapphire, we fight Aqua. 
Carvana is fucking annoying because any contact moves you hit it with, you receive a little bit of recoil, which you should see here in just a moment. Rough skin hurts you for a small percent of your HP, but since it's part dark type, Leech Life tears it a new asshole. And then HP goes down after rough skin. As you can see, fucking easy. He'll have a numble if it's a uh, Ruby version, so uh, nothing to worry about. This guy should have just a Zubat and a Carvana. <coughs> I am so close to getting over this cough. I just had to record at least one episode. Alrighty, just a Zubat. We can cut him to size, no problem. Your Leech Life will do jack shit because you don't have stab. Though you turn that two hit KO to a three hit KO and it's annoying. Though it's a two hit KO anyway. Thank you, damage ranges. Okay, Carvana time, which means leech, leech life time. Hooray, hooray, that's always fun. Once again, restoring the hit points and then the rough skin. And all he can do is rage against the machine. Ha, you're out. <clears throat> Ugh. Man, these text boxes take fucking forever. And now that we've beaten him handily, they're like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And then, I came to see what was taking so long to snap some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child? I am Team Aqua's Archie. Tell me, why do you meddle in the noble affairs of Team Aqua? Pokemon, people, all life depend on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine, you're still too young. It can't be helped that you do not understand our ideals. But if you ever oppose us again, there will be consequences. Heed my warning, farewell. You're, uh, okay, you're Safi. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh yes, I almost forgot you even brought parts from Devon. And I'll hand over those goods. You are no longer taking up a spot in the key items. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks, and excuse me. Eco-terrorism. It is bad. Leave the land and see as they are. Cause you bitches. And you know, I think that's about uh, good for an episode. We did a lot today. So on today's episode of Pokemon Sapphire, we beat up a bunch of beachgoers, got some soda pop, and we even got to beat up a bunch, bunch of Aqua, well, two Aqua members really, and showed off a mini game. And on the next episode, we will be heading up a route. God damn it, D-pad. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.